Hello. Hi everyone. I'm Shreya and I welcome you all to Drona Edu. Hi children. How are you all doing? Hoping that you're all well. Today I have come here to teach you a lesson of environmental science that is air. Yes children air is something very commonly heard right we have heard of this word air many a times let me say you you all know that we all breathe if by chance we close our nose and stay without breathing for 5 minutes can be is it possible okay so if we just hold our nose for 2 seconds we can't bear the suffocation we just be like ha ah, we want to breathe right yeah so air is one of the natural resources that is on earth and it is very essential for sustaining life of humans plants and animals so all the living beings need air air is also used in many purposes a layer of air surrounds the earth and that layer of air surrounding the earth is known as atmosphere i repeat atmosphere is a layer of air surrounding the earth so air has many components but for that i would ask you a question i told you it's very important for life sustaining but can we all see air no right we can't see air we can just feel it okay do air have mass does it occupy space let's see i'll give you an example so when we fill a air in a balloon the balloon becomes huge why is it so because air occupies space the air we blow inside goes and occupies the space inside the balloon now the question was does it has weight okay let's weigh a balloon which is not filled with air and just keep it on weighing machine and check its mass next we'll blow the balloon and then we keep it and check the weight the weight of balloon that we fill is more so air also has weight so air can also be filled when there is some particles that goes on when we are walking or going in vehicle and air has many components i said it has a mixture of many other gases so what are those i will say air has a mix of many gas and its composition is like this air's composition is in this manner as i said there is 21% of oxygen and this 21% of oxygen we use for breathing and it's also used by other organism for their own purpose and there is 78% of nitrogen and the nitrogen is used by plants while preparing food for them so there is 78% of nitrogen 
Next, there is 0.04% of carbon dioxide. And this carbon dioxide is also used by plants and many other organisms. Next, what is the noble gases like helium, neon? Okay, all the noble gases like helium, argon, neon, they are present along with the water, vapor and the dust particles in 0.96 percentage. So the composition of air was as I told. So air is very important for our breathing also, right? Okay, now my question is what if air gets polluted? Do you think the air we have is pure now? Okay, the air sometimes get polluted. We can see it on the sky and we can also see that people are suffering from many diseases cause of this. Okay, now this air pollution means what? What is the meaning that air is polluted? Air is actually polluted because of burning substances, garbage, because of industries, because of smoke, because of burning crackers and many other burning of items. And it's also sometimes because of the trains which release certain fumes or smokes because of coal. So when these go and mix along with the air, they form some mixture that is harmful and cause air pollution. When we burn substances, there are chemicals re released in them which will harm us to maximum. The chemicals or the smokes which are released from industries make the air polluted to a such a level that it harms human health by causing us cancer, breathing disease and many other problems like asthma. And this not only has a negative impact on us but also it has a negative impact on plants and trees. So as I said air pollution is harmful for plants and humans. It's also pollution harmful for animals. Yeah, this also has a very negative effect on animals. Some animal race may get extinct meaning the animal race may just disappear and die because of these air pollution so air pollution is harmful for all the living organisms i told you now i told you that air pollution is what and how it's harmful to us and i also told what is air and what all it has like the composition of air. Let's concentrate on how to reduce this pollution, shall we? Okay, even the vehicle exhaust produce smokes which pollute the air. So instead of each one traveling in different vehicle, we can use the public transport so that the pollution reduces. And we can also burn the stop burning of the garbage or any other material in the civilian areas. Instead of coal, we can use gas fuel, which does not produce much smoke. We can install chimneys in the industries so that the smoke is released at a higher altitude and so that we living beings it won't reach and harm as it is right now 
and we can also grow more plants and trees rather than doing deforestation or burning of trees sometimes and as i'm telling you that these substances which causing pollution of air can be reduced and please i would request you all to stop and make ways to reduce for pollution if we pollute the same way then it may cause global warming and because of which the ozone layer may tear and ozone is a layer that is that absorbs all the harmful uv rays from the sun before the sun rays reach our earth so we all must reduce a pollution so please children as i gave you the measures how to reduce the pollution please do follow it and let's reduce the pollution and make our earth green and keep the air pure and let's stay healthy hoping that you all are going to follow my words and you all understood what i told in today's class i will be back soon with some other important chapters and contents till then take care see you all bye